Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It has been a long break, but it was really nice, I gotta say. So, thank you all for waiting. If anybody's still watching these, I appreciate it, because the break was maybe a little bit too long. However, I'm excited to get back going into things, and I've got a couple plans to try to make things a little more consistent with the new year. Also, Happy New Year! A little bit late, but it's still like, you know, the first week or so, week and a half or so of January. <laughs> My vacation went a little longer than I anticipated. But um, for those of you that are watching, I do appreciate it. Your wait, uh, your waiting, it's really, really nice. <laughs> so I hope you all had a good holidays, and if you didn't, I'm glad they're done and over with. And I hope you all enjoy this video, and hopefully you'll enjoy more regular content coming, but who knows? But it's the new year, so I'm gonna try my darndest with a clean slate, sort of. Anyway, thank you all so much. Once again, Happy New Year, and the main video will be on in a second. Okay. Oops. I'm here. What? Yes? Did you see the robot? Yeah, we got a new robot, friend. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Uh, I have other questions about the desert. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, crate dragons, and crazy hunters. You know anything about the sand people? Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even have the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their oh, enclave. Nice. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. The sand people are using turrets? They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. The accent is terrible, yes. I don't okay. have to Okay, bye. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can I have it? Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Oh, okay. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, man. I'm here. I guess, if that's what floats your boat. Okay. Now where? Nobody knows. I'm just gonna wander. Not getting to eat. It's not junk food. It's fast food. It's just a big pile of meat and tortillas. It's so good. Mining team captain! Mining is a competitive sport. Oh, hey, is this the Jawa enclave? Or not the Jawa, the Sand People enclave? Oh, hey, there's stuff on fire over here. Oh, no, my water. Oh, it's so far away. No, doggy, I'm not getting up. Okay, let's see if I can, um, recover it. Me. Mm. What's your <gasps> They have script selection. I didn't realize. Where's my where's the stuff? Where's the the stuff? Nope. I have no idea. I can't tell if he would be better at it than I did. Oops. Hmm? Got something oh. on your mind? Oops. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, we can have this chat. Have Bastila be support? Okay. 
Why did you decide to come with me? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Oh, <laughs> so you wanted to ride on my ship? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? Uh, no, seriously. Uh, uh if you don't want to answer a question, old man, just say, no, seriously, tell me. I'm old, damn it. <laughs> I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a bantha. Oh, okay. Uh, you're avoiding. Did you annoy this person endlessly too? Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Like impatient little children with blasters. Okay. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. I've never heard of him. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, Ooh, Oh, snap! Destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Uh, is there supposed to be some hidden meaning in this? I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's no! see. Oh, yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. What? <laughs> Where is this going? Uh, how young are we talking? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair and Coruscant was a small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. What an old man! Teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Uh, how did you know? Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs. Jedi here! We get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed. Wow! Those could have just been gurgling noises. Well, well, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. What the heck is Maybe wrong Andor with you? Maybe sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. I, but he really take a, a young man that he had been traveling with who had told him, he's like, he's like telling him all about his grand destiny and then like he gets surprised when the kid is like overconfident and then he gets like brutally murdered in front of him and he's like, hey, hey, hey. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly and the Dimians never quite recover. Change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a oh destiny, my wouldn't you? I hate you, old man. Um, what does that have to do with you coming with me? Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but when one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry. Oh my gosh! Shoo! What the heck, you old man? Old man! What the frick is wrong with you? I can disable it. I probably can't keep it though. Damn. Uh oh, what? Oh, I could. All right, let's see if um, Bastila can do it. I think maybe. Bastila, move. Yes. 
That's just a step. What can I do? That's just you gotta move. Move. You think he may have been flirting with us? I think he may have been doing that old man thing where he just talks a lot. Oh, I can't do anything about it? You, you, or Basila can't? Mm -hmm. You can't? Only I can? I'm here. Okay, well, uh, well, let's, let's, uh, not... Don't let me go under here, please! Whoa, whoa, are you under here? Please, Holy no. cow! I can't get out! Three. <gasps> two, one. It's a trap! Yeah, he wants to see our swirling vortex of destiny. Because apparently we have a swirling vortex of destiny. Guess what? I don't have 500 credits! Mm, perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. You let me go, I'll tell others how smart you are. Yeah! Ha <laughs> um, Yeah, I am real lucky. Real lucky guy. <laughs> no, I didn't. Smart piggy. We got what we wanted. That's how this works. Okay, I'm done. Well, how about that? Nope, scripts. I have to do scripts. Scripts for Bastila. Um. Whoa. Oh, what? Do I just select it? Oh. Okay. Oh, <gasps> interesting. Okay. Uh, default's fine. Would I bang that? No. 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 Hmm? So where's the, where's the, the little, uh, the person, the other person, the like humanoid voice? Unless it was like a recording or something. But they counted down. Hey, if you walk into that, you better explode it. Oh my gosh. It was a recording? Alright, that makes sense. Did I get all the stuff? Hey, look, it's, uh, hang on, it's sand people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I almost did a bad, I almost did a bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Uh, party selection. All I need, uh, remove you, and, uh, remove you, and, uh, we're gonna bring, uh, bring the droid, and we're gonna bring cart. What? No! I just want to talk to them. Oh, hi. <laughs> I can't. Okay. What is it? Zerka marker post? Where's the, uh, where's the actual sand people that I can talk to? Oh. A vast expanse of desert treasures before you. Okay, we don't want to walk. Apparently these are the boundaries. Where's their base? I mean, I kind of thought their base would be like right there, but maybe not. We'll go find their base. Uh, we'll go find it. Explore! No, I, I see that. I Okay, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. I should have gotten Bastulism, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Um... Inventory based on the I want her. Um, yeah, 
you it. have that one. And I will take the Dark Jedi one. Why is hers better? Like, her her stuff is better than mine. Like, her on her it's 20, but on me it's 15. Oh, snap. Now we look good. I need XP? Okay, so I'll go over here and I'll kill these things. I do need to level up and get that, um... How far am I? Like, how... I guess it doesn't give me a, uh... Oh, okay. It, I'm not, like, terribly far. I'm actually pretty dang far. What? Oh, uh... Okay. That's what sand people do, though. They just... This is not good. They just kind of show up. Um. I'm here. <laughs> Blaster. But I don't have grenades, really, is the problem. Or I just, yeah, just walk around with this crew until we actually find the... the the camp but i i did it it wasn't before because i i succeeded in the thing that i was doing so he would still have it i'll check again though i'll come out here and grind for xp later Time to just walk. A corpse. It's a trap! Yeah. These guys are rude. Really, 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 really rude. Oh, oh wait. Um, shoot. Yes. Yes. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh shoot, what time is it? Uh, I actually have D and D in like an hour, I think. Okay. Well, just spam lightning? Alright. Well for now, I think I'll just I think I'll head out. We're gonna head out for now. I think I'm gonna be done for the moment. But 
I hate, I don't want to necessarily leave on a hard part, but sometimes it's good to leave and then come back. And then we'll be, we'll own these noobs. And we will leave off there with those words of utter confidence. And rest assured, we're totally going to own noobs in the next episode. So thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.